Good morning, guys. Hi, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Stephen. Happy Vlogmas Day 14, Crazy Town. Uh, it is 4.55 in the morning. Um, on the way to work, as you can probably guess, um, my report time to work is 6 a.m. I hate, oh, do I hate a morning show in base. Now, if you set me in Boston and we have a 4.10 a.m. showtime, which is one, I, I mean, midnight basically to my body, I don't even mind that. But in base, I just hate having to go to work this early in the morning. Mostly because it's like there's so much I have to do to prepare for a trip. Um, make sure the litter box is done. Make sure the cats have their food and the water's changed. Um, and is the door locked? Is everything, you know, I have to do so much uh, before leaving the house. And I just, I just hate it. So, oh, give me a red eye anytime. But uh, today's gonna be a, a pretty easy day from what I believe. I'm working with um, Reggie, so a guy I really like a lot. He's so nice. Um, I have a little gift for him because I found him something while I was thrifting. Uh, I don't know the other people I'm flying with, I don't think today. Um, we're flying from here, Vegas to Burbank, I think, back to Vegas. Then we're flying out to Boise. I've never flown to Boise. And then back. So I don't have a layover today at all. I'm supposed to be back in uh, Las Vegas by five something this afternoon. I did pack my um, required items, of course, but um, that includes cables for my phone, my watch, and my uh, work device. I also brought um, the basics for toiletries like toothpaste, toothbrush denture adhesive and all the other stuff just in case I get stuck in Boise because you know winter um so I'm not packing any clothes or anything but I'll, <laughs> I'll have enough to make sure I have teeth in my face <laughs> um yeah I think that's it for my uh little intro today and I will see you probably in the plane or in Burbank I'm not quite sure and I'll see you soon all right, so I told you I'd see you at the airport or the airplane or Burbank. Well, I'm still in the parking lot. Um, I got a parking spot. I'm very excited, um, but I'm also frustrated at the same time. I forgot Reggie's gift on my table at home, so I'm going to have to bring it in next time I fly and leave it under the Christmas tree in the crew room and hope that no one takes it. I don't know anybody else who would want it, but... People are people and they take stuff. When I first started here, someone stole uh, a bag tag off of my friend's luggage. Like another flight attendant in the crew room stole a bag tag off of their luggage. Yeah. So you, you can't leave stuff in the crew room and assume it will be there when you when you get back. But um, yeah, let's get to work. I will see you soon. <clears throat> Very excited. I just... Uh was walking through the airport here and uh, there is a gaggle, a gaggle of people all wearing black and yellow. And I was super excited thinking they're all going on their OEs. They're all going on their FAM flights. That's a familiarization flight. Um, so it's their first real taste of being able to see where things are on the aircraft that they've been studying the whole time. Uh, so they're all going to Oakland, unfortunately. I was hoping they were going to Burbank with me, but they go to Oakland and back. But um, yeah, it was very exciting to see all these new faces, all excited to come and join us. And yeah, yay! So it was a lot of fun. Uh, TSA is empty. So even if I get random and Starbucks is open, yay. All right, so I will see you guys later. Random for security, of course. It's probably a 60% chance now. And that's just like industry wide. But uh, we all know how often I get random anyway, so no big change for me. But the airport is empty. I'm hoping our flight's kind of light. We'll see. All right, check's done. Amazing crew. Our position um, B is flying her first flight after her OE. Very exciting. Uh, so we're just making sure that plane is ready for our passengers. And uh, how did you get up here? Did you follow me to work? 
All right, that's what Burbank looks like. That sign says, fly quietly. Okay. Well, that first flight was very nice. We had 50 passengers on board. Actually, less than that. We had six no-shows, so we had less than 50 people on the board. The flight was 45 minutes. Um, we have, I think I mentioned, we have a brand new flight attendant on board. This is her first trip. Uh, so I tried doing the uh, trash bag thing, if you know what I'm talking about. Uh, I called back and said, hey, you know, the captain wants a sample, an air sample. And she was, she fell for it. She was going to do it. So I told her not to because <laughs> it's awful. But I did sneak, sneak the uh, M&Ms into her uh, window shade. <laughs> so there's that. If you're a flood attendant, you know what I'm talking about. Um, really fun crew. Really, really nice crew. Um, our flight crew has been fantastic. They have a check rider up there checking the, uh, their, they have an annual check or a biannual check they have to pass. But uh, yeah, really nice flight. The flight, the return flight. Wow. The return flight is going to be 40 minutes. Uh, with 94 passengers, and they are going to start boarding now, so I will see you later. Alrighty, so we're back in Las Vegas. Uh, my chaser, Mary Ellen, is amazing. I love her. She's so sweet. Um, and the rest of my crew is amazeballs, so just having a nice time. The flight was super, super easy. We were supposed to have, like, 94 people on board. We ended up with 66. A lot of no-shows, um, but super easy. The seatbelt sign didn't even come off, so yeah. Um, 40 minutes, 40 minutes. Our next flight is to Boise, but we have like a two hour, 50 minute sit. Um, and uh, then I'm back in, the, in Vegas by this afternoon, so really happy. Um, I have to find a little boy's room because yeah, why do I always feel the need to tell you I have to go to the bathroom? But, uh, um, yeah, that's it. I'm going to grab a bite to eat, maybe a little coffee, and um, off to Boise. Let's go. I didn't pack food because I knew this trip would be very short. That is with my discount. The Popeyes with the eight, eight nugget combo. Almost... $15. Let's see what we got. Hmm. Uh, okay. Well, that's what I get for not packing food. All right. Just met my chaser for the next turn. It's also his first trip. So we have two people on my crew today who are having their, their, uh, we're on their first trip. It's a lot of fun. A lot of fun. So I have to get the captain some water and a trash bag. I will see you in Boise. Oh, I think we have 111 passengers on this plane. I don't know our time yet, but I'll find out. Okay. No, we're good. Thank you so much. Um, hey, guys. How are you? So we're in Boise. Apparently, it's not. It's Boise, not Boise, which is what I was saying earlier. Um, we had 110 passengers on that last flight. Um, wonderful, 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 wonderful people. Just really nice people. There's one story I really would like to tell you, but I can't because it just wouldn't, it wouldn't be appropriate, but I wish I could tell you. Um, let's see, we have 105 people going back to Las Vegas. The flight's going to be one hour and 16 minutes, although we do have to de-ice and we're boarding, so I will talk to you later. Howdy! All right, so I'm back in Las Vegas. That flight was very, very nice. It was an hour and 16 minutes, 110 passengers. Um, I was going to say the only challenge, but they weren't really challenges because I had no control over the situation. You know, it's just, um, de-icing is a thing in the winter. This is what happens and it's, it's physics. You know, you want to be de-iced. You don't want to take off with wings full of ice. It's not good. Um, and, um, there were a number of our passengers who had very tight connections originally before de-icing and all that, you know, because they don't, they don't add de-icing time into the turnaround time at, at these airports. So, um, we ended up showing up to Las Vegas, maybe 15 minutes, 20 minutes late. But when your connecting flight is only 45 minutes away and you're unsure of where you are, I understand why people get kind of bent out of shape. But, um, uh, as a passenger, this is the time 
when being able to express your needs clearly helps. <laughs> then with that information, I can try to offer assistance and, you know, directions. But um, yeah, it was, it was really no no real problem to really to speak of. Um, my crew was amazing. We had two brand new flood attendants I think I told you about. Um, fantastic. And um, yeah, what else? That, that, that's it really it. Easy day, just long. Just a long day. Uh, started with, with a 6 a.m. show and it is now 5.46 p.m. So it's a good 12-hour uh, duty day. I'm going to hop in the car. I'm going to go home. Uh, I may stop to eat something on the way home and then um, cuddle with the cats and then go to sleep. I have two days off. I got a pile of things sold, a pile of things sold on eBay. So tomorrow is going to be really a day of packing up stuff and, and getting it off to the post office. Blah, blah, blah. Let me let you go. Thank you so much for joining me on this trip and I will see you tomorrow. I forgot to show you uh, that my friend Melinda made me a Christmas ornament. How sweet is that? And she sent, gave me a Pez thing. She left this under the tree at the crew room and there's a card. How nice is that? And one of our passengers made a uh, big uh, snack and uh, little gift bags for each of the crew uh, to say thank you for helping them and their family fly to Las Vegas. It was really, really generous and very sweet. All right, fly safe. I'm going home. Bye.